Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Purdue Boilermakers and the Kentucky Wildcats. And, of course, we look here at our Star Watch. There's a look, Dick, at the starting lineups. I like to match up the small forward position. These two players must lead their team out and show the way. Yes, dictate the way this game is played. We got the potential for fireworks here today. As two of the top teams in the country are getting ready to get things going. I'll tell you, without a doubt, this will be one of the top games on the tube today. This will be exciting. Two top-notch teams will definitely be in the national tournament. The Boilermakers are number six in the polls right now, Dick. I love the way they attack the glass. They play with such a vengeance. They really want to get on the glass aggressively. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside. But they're playing with four people on the exterior. The small forward receives the ball. Ten on the shot clock. Number 34 picks up the foul. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. You know, seniors are a dying breed in college basketball these days. If you are a coach that was lucky enough to have a couple, it can definitely help you sleep at night knowing there are guys in your team who know what you want and know what it takes to be successful. that opportunity either. Controlling the ball. With the J. Plus the jumper. He can put points up and he can move the ball. When you combine those two skills, the floor looks a lot wider for everyone on your team. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. On the left side. Tries to draw the charge, and that's a foul, Dick. I'll tell you, no doubt, a good call. The defensive player gets called for the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. Number 55 with the foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled him for the easy basket. Another great sophomore right here, Dick. Brad, he's got that first year of experience under his belt. So this season, his team is going to be looking for him a lot more. man's in trouble the crowd begins to chant who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage and the strip quick hand he hammers it home you can almost see that coming they were a little bit lazy on the defensive end mr excitement with that jam moving it around the perimeter from the corner jumper won't go they wanted an offensive interference call and don't get it. And we're at the eight-minute mark. Washington receives the pass. Plus the J. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The turn of fadeaway jumper. I tell you, uses the ball really well, too. In terms of putting it to the deck, turns, spins. He's got every move in the book. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Oh. 
Seven minutes left on the game clock. They work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Gets it to go. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Well, it commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. Here's another solid junior, Dick. You know, by the time you're a junior, you know what your coach expects from you. It's a matter of bringing it every day. two-man action. We'll stay right here. The offense begins off the sideline inbounds. Loose ball saves it. Great play. The ball stripped. The Wildcats in transition. The Wildcats now running a zone offense. Well, the key to zone motion offense is you got to get good ball movement. If you get good ball movement to get the zone, to really slide and use the skip pass to make it tough for that zone to adjust. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have the boards up there. Yeah, that helps. Goes up for two. He gets the bucket to fall. Job he gets the rejection. Wheeler is down emotionally right now, Dick. Someone may have to talk to him. He needs to get back on track. Drains it. On the left side. Now they work it around the perimeter. From the corner, nails a sweet jumper. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. That one's off. On the left side. About five minutes remaining. Washington handles the pass. He puts up the J. He misses the J. They work it around the perimeter. Uncharacteristic mistake by the senior. On the outside. He wants a three. Can't connect. In the lane. Wheeler picks up the defensive foul. First personal foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. And here's a look at the first-year play. You know, playing at this level can be a tough adjustment for some kids. Let this make the jump look easy. It all depends on what kind of team you have around you and how hard you are willing to work to get better. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. A great trap initiated by the defense. On the outside. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Number 23 gets the ball with the jumper. Nope. He gets the rebound. Trying to 
get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two, he drains the bucket. He cut back door and received the pass. I tell you, that was a great backdoor play. Terrific execution right there. The defense stopped concentrating for a second, and they got beat back door. He puts up the three ball. Missed the jumper. Pushes it up. He shoots from outside. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. And they burn a timeout here. We'll have more NCAA coverage coming up in a moment. There might be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. The Boilermaker is now running a zone offense. Boy, I'll tell you what, man. The zone motion offense creates a lot of opportunities if you get ball movement and player movement. If you get people to step into the gaps of the zone and reverse the ball, you'll get good shots. From the top of the key. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. And they go into their motion offense, working with four around one here. I tell you, the four around one is key by the big guy inside. But the four people on the perimeter better be able to make perimeter shots. And it's great when you got a big guy who has the multi-talented ability to step out and make the open jump shot. Two minutes left on the game clock. Nice pass to the low block. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Number 15 receives the pass. Puts it on the floor and up and under. The missed shot. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Looking for a good shot. He pulls the trigger and come up short. Working it around the perimeter. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. We're at the one minute mark. Down in the low block, trying to work the lane. He drains it. <laughs> They'll work it around the arc. Tries a three ball. Off the mark. And we'll head back down to the other end. It's a team effort across the board so far today, Dick. I tell you, it's been great to watch these kids really work with one another out there. They all have individual skills to put the ball in the hoop. But that isn't always what's best for a team. Everyone needs to get touches so they can feel involved. The Boilermakers go into their zone motion now. On the wing for the bucket. He hits the shot. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. He can't get the bucket to fall. And now getting set up here in a four-round one. I tell you, the four-round one, spacing's a key. You better have good spacing, and you better have people on the interior that can score with their back to the basket. If you've got a big guy who can post up inside and who has passing ability, he's going to create opportunities for the guys on the perimeter. At the half, the Boilermakers are behind by 11. Kentucky is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad, this kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the rock. Patience and poise usually equals points.
Going with a man-to-man -man full court press now, Dick. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. So they'll inbound on the near sideline. Look at that spacing. Shoots from the corner. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. They work the perimeter. He looks for three. The field goal was good, and he draws the foul. That was unbelievable, baby. What a shot. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Here's looking at a chance at a rare four-point play now. Makes the shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. The man might be in a little bit of trouble here, Dick. Washington comes up with it. Tries for two. He drains the shot. Number 23 takes the pass. He bombs from outside. Jumper won't go. Both teams are looking to get something going here. From downtown. Missed it. Number 15 handles the feed. They go into the low block. He shoots the jumper. Scorches the net with a J. Up and inside. And we're at the eight-minute mark. Nails the J. Looking for a good shot. There's a slam. At least you make the highlights letting him do that. Adam, momentary look from three-point land from the corner. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. We're at the seven-minute mark. On the right side. Moving it around the perimeter. Now that young guy just can't continue to pick up fouls. They need him in the game. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. I'm not sure this is the guy you want to send to the free throw line. He really knows how to focus in on the target during free throws. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Got them a nylon, NBN. They've got him trapped here, Dick. Hey, they got him in some trouble, Brad. Three-second violation. Better watch your feet. Zone motion now. Uncharacteristic mistake by the senior. Now on the run. For two. 
Sinks the shot. And they go into their motion offense, working with four round one here. Well, you know, the key to this offense, you better have a big guy on the inside who can be effective, and then a big guy who has versatility who can step out. And they certainly have the elements to make this offense work. We're at the six-minute mark. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up. Off the mark. Gave it up. Here's a double team. He goes up with it. Gets the J to fall. On the right side. For the bucket. Off target. Clock shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. Bad decision there by the freshman. The small forward with the ball. Five minutes left in the game clock. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Turnover committed by the senior. Fed the low block. Goes up with it. Missed the jumper. Inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He misses the jumper. Four minutes left on the game clock. They're working around the perimeter. From the corner, they get it to go. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from downtown. Nope. They got the offensive rebound and the stick back. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. About three minutes remaining. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. For the bucket. He makes the shot. Inside. And it's knocked away. Great block. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Double team now. Bad angle. Off the glass and no good. Out on the left wing. Number 34 is charged with the foul. Second personal foul. Well, it commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. 
Williams is a pretty good free throw shooter and will likely knock down his free throw attempts. Mentally, he truly believes that he can knock it down. It's a trait that many good free throw shooters have. He misses the second shot. Washington handles the pass. From the corner. Nope. the perimeter for two can't put it down on the outside and now there's a whistle and a foul He goes to the line for the first time. First shot is good. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as PMOC. Big man on campus, baby. On the outside, we're at the one-minute mark. Now the turnaround jump. He misses the J. Entry pass in the paint. That's good. He cut back door and the pass was delivered perfect. Great recognition by both players. The backdoor cut is one of those types of plays you love to see. They'll throw this one in from the side. He attempts the three. Off the mark. This defense really showing that they're not afraid to get physical. Hey, they're making them sweat on offense by taking chances, Brad. Arm and foul. the free throw line it's the first they're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight Dick yeah they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day and he got them both. they have found their stroke at the strike tonight Dick this has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch he may be in some trouble here for the bucket he comes up empty. Number 10 receives the ball. And now getting set up here in a four round one. I love the four round one, especially when you got a big guy who can pass the ball exceptionally well, as well as score. Now you got to give help on him, and it leaves people open on the perimeter. And they better be able to make that open jump shot. Kentucky wins tonight in a blowout. They'll be happy to walk away with a victory from such an evenly matched opponent. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.